Hello everyone! Today the League of Explorers expansion has been released for Hearthstone. This one kind of snuck up on me. I didn't uh, even realize it was coming out until the day it was finally announced. I haven't heard much buzz about this one, but uh, I assume it's going to be just as good and expansive as the previous expansions. Let's see here. Scattered across ancient sites of Azeroth are the pieces of a powerful Titan artifact, the Staff of Origination. Join the League of Explorers to acquire it for the museum and earn 45 cards unique to this adventure. So it adds an additional 45 cards to the game. Let's see, Blackrock only added 20 new cards. Uh, I don't know how many cards were added in Nextramus, but uh, 45 seems pretty sizable. Anyway, this is the first time I'm booting this up. What I'd like to do today is play through the first wing on uh, normal difficulty and just uh, see what we have going on here. Temple of Orsis. Let's open it up. Okay. The first piece of the staff lies in the ancient temple of Orsis. Reno's inside already, and he needs your help. All right. So just like the previous expansions, we have three different boss battles, I guess, in which we'll earn a few new cards here. And if we beat the entire wing, we're gonna get a nice legendary. Reno's nearly to the rod. But he just had to rub the shiny lamp he found. So we have like an evil genie or something? Help Reno find the last piece of the staff. Wait, Reno, don't rub that lamp. What's the hero ability here? Draw a card, give your opponent a wish. So he gets to draw a card for free, and we get something in return? I don't know. Let's uh, try it out. Who should I play? Uh, let's go ahead with something safe here. I know this uh, druid is a pretty solid deck. Let's see how it works out. Malfurion versus Zenar! Finally free! Your reward will be a quick death. I must protect the wild. Looks like his thing is set to autocast, so we're gonna be getting a card or a wish. Every turn, it seems. Probably start off with the Shade of Nax. Adventurer! I'm Reno Jackson, world-renowned archaeologist, explorer, and treasure hunter. With the self-control of a magpie. Okay. <laughs> It's like they're trying to stuff in some kind of storyline or something. I don't really follow. What do we get? Discover a minion? What does that even mean? Um, let's give it a shot? I have no idea what it's gonna do. Choose one. Oh, uh... Okay, I guess we go with the Death Lord. <laughs> I really don't know. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually run into that. I don't want to take six to the face. Would have liked a wild growth, but uh, what, what you gonna do? Uh, it's nice that he's willing to grant wishes while he's trying to kill us. That guy's gonna keep popping up, isn't he? One, one wisp. Oh, we got another discover something. What do we got here? Recombobulator. I don't know if I have any beasts to make that useful. Let's go with the savage. Death does not scare me. Let's play the Death Lord. Oh, we get to discover a spell now. What was that? Forgotten Torch. That's one of the new cards. Oh, I tell you about the time I infiltrated the ogres of Dire Maul into 
disguise? Yes. I don't get it. Okay, Forgotten Torch. Um, I don't get it. It's it's a mage spell. It's kind of like a Frostbolt, but it has like a negative effect. I mean, it has a pretty. I'm pretty sure it puts a six damage card that hits you in the face when you draw it. So I don't know why you wouldn't just run uh, Frostbolt instead. It's the same cost and everything. Actually, I think that's that's cost a little more. It's a uh, three cost. I don't understand, but. Uh, Let's discover a spell. Innervate. Hmm. Let's grab an Innervate. Wild Growth. Let's use that Innervate and uh, get the Savage out. Discover a minion. Okay, he finally gets rid of that. Okay. Well, how about sneaking through the Black Rock Lyceum to acquire? Yes. I, I think we're gonna beat this guy before we get to hear all of this guy's dialogue. Um, uh, I guess we should inspire. Gives us, what, like an additional two attack? Uh, let's discover something. Uh, I guess the Iron Dwarf. Um, sure, let's, let's just hit him in the face. He's gonna have to get through the Death Lord to uh, make that uh, Wind Fury of any use, so... Not too worried. Lava shock. And he's, uh. Oh, well, he's got a taunt. But, uh, we have, we have charge, uh, over here. Okay, first one down. What do we get? The rod lies just down that hall. Whenever you cast a spell on another friendly minion, cast a copy of it on this one. Wow, that'd be pretty good in like a paladin deck. Could play a bunch of like really cheap buffs like uh Divine Shield and all that stuff. Okay, um okay, jeweled scarab. Discover a three cost card. I'm guessing discover means you just get to choose three? Or choose between three, just like we were doing. It's kind of a interesting mechanic. All right, what do we got next? We've made it to the temple's vault. You handle the guard. I'll take care of the rest. All right, what does this guy do? Whoever controls the rod of the sun is immune, and I'm assuming he's gonna have the rod. Uh, yeah. There's got to be some kind of mechanic in that match where you can trade the rod or something. Let's go ahead and play the Secret Paladin. Uther versus Sun He's looking very immune right now. Rod of the Sun is mine. Rod of the Sun. Wow, I really hope that I didn't need to put some cards in here to take his minion. Because I don't have anything that can capture his rod. What's the uh, death rattle on this thing? Oh, okay. Grab that staff. So we can just straight up destroy it to gain it. Uh, I don't want to play competitive spirit. I'm just going to pass it. Secret keeper? I think I'll play the mini bot. Uh, okay. 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess muster. Reporting for duty. And I could kill this, but I don't know. I'm. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's just kill it. Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, I don't know. I think we play a few secrets here. I'll never tell. The battle. Just to uh, focus battle. on his staff the here. For justice. Protect the temple. Both heroes, and that's uh, only going to affect him. All right, that's a nice boost from the uh, competitive spirit. So I'm going to want to kill this before I kill this. The battle. Let's do it. It's going to trade it over. Then, uh, then we kill this. And I think we just boost the hell out of this, uh, Secret Keeper. Go for face. He's going for that staff again. Wow. Used a five attack weapon on it. That's <laughs> what? Oh my god! What just happened there? I is that legal? <laughs> I just got a free rod of the sun just from the secret. But um, what he just did there—he attacked with a four attack minion and then finished it off with a five, which makes absolutely no sense. Um, what are we doing? Uh. Lotheb? Or maybe piloted treader and a summon. Reporting for duty. I think we still need to get rid of his rod. For justice. <laughs> Am I gonna have two? I'm gonna have two rods. It's valuable. That's insane. I think I think we just broke the game. Holy fire! Um, I, I think. Okay, he he gets the rod back. This is ridiculous. The battle. Uh, he's is he dead? I don't think so. The battle. The battle. Not quite. Uh. We have two rods, though. What's he gonna do, honestly? Flame strike. <laughs> That's a problem. Um, no, it's not. He's dead. <laughs> um, that's kind of interesting. Harrison. Supposed to shake that much? Okay, what do we get here? Summoning stone. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a random minion of the same cost. Uh, wow, that's that's really good. I mean, it's a five cost, but there's a lot of cheap spells out there. You could easily fill your board and clear your opponents at the same time. <laughs> what the heck is this? Give a random friendly minion three plus three. Okay, last one on the list. Got the first piece. Now we gotta get out of here before we get squished. Okay, the temple is collapsing. Run. Encounter new obstacles. Are we actually fighting the temple or something? What do we go with? You know what? I have a pretty experimental totem shaman here. That uh, 
might be worth playing. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but let's uh, give it a shot. Versus the Collapsing Temple! The Collapsing Temple. What does it do? Uh, Doom Hammer. Um, okay. Collapsing ceiling and monsters everywhere. Hurry up! Every turn he's gonna put a new obstacle on the board? We have ten turns to escape. How is this gonna work? He has no cards. Hey, a glowing pool! Wanna check it out? You don't have time for that. Uh what is this now? Glowing pool? I don't know. Let's uh, gain a mana crystal. Put out the elemental. Yeah, the elemental is going to grow bigger because we have a lot of overload cards. Hey, a pit of spikes! Pit of spikes. What is this now? Take five damage. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I, I don't know. I don't really want to leave it up to a coin toss. So I'm just going to take five. Okay, you're crawling through the spikes. Will you hurry it up? Um, let's get some overload out on the board. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, I don't have anything to attack. What the heck am I doing? I guess I'll just go... I'll get my five health back from the zombie chow. That boulder's huge. Get out of the way! The what the heck? Do I get another free roll? What? Okay. Uh, I guess he either brings out a minion or he gives us like a multiple choice thing or something. I don't know. Uh, what are we doing here? Could Earth shock it? What's the point? Let's summon some totems here. Wait, what is this? What is. I don't recall this being here. What? Minion to the left? Are you kidding me? Um. I could have easily put this on the other side. Okay. Alright. Um, I guess we... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Get that off the board. And I lose my thing. That's so, so stupid. Statue. Oh, it's such a shiny ruby. Um, well, this is nice. I think we're gonna be drawing cards here. Uh -oh. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his gem back. He gets a 10 10. What the heck? Could could uh crackle his ass, <laughs> or uh, hex would probably be safer. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hex that. Um, this, this rolling boulder is really pissing me off. Uh, let's summon some totems up here. You bring some fish? Done. Okay, that's not bad. wonder what the boulder is going to do now that there's nothing over here. Oh, what the hell is this now? get you out of the way. I have no idea what's going on every turn. We have five turns to escape. I have no idea if that means we we have to be doing something, or we're, are we just waiting it out? Um, totem it up. See what we can draw. Another totem. 
Manatide totem. You cannot be allowed to escape. Ah, 510. I could just put him behind uh, Feral Spirits. Or hex it. I have a feeling he's gonna have some worse stuff coming up though. Oh right, I can't choose where this gets placed. I think it's gonna be placed after the... Um, uh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I have nothing, nothing really to crackle, nothing to... I'm afraid to expand my board too much because he might just do one of those crazy board wipes. I don't know. Bloodlust. That'd be great if he actually had a life total. 7-7 seven, seven what now? It's pretty dark in there. One I'm scarab. Sure this will get us out faster. Let's go! On my map, it just says don't go here. <laughs> what? Get one turn closer to the exit. Encounter. I think I'm doing pretty fine. I mean, I'm gonna do nothing. I'm still at 30 life. I'm not really concerned about taking a shortcut. Yeah. Uh. I think I will hex this, though. Where'd that boulder go? just vanished once it, once it uh, reached the end. Let's use the lightning storm. Eh, let's... Yeah, let's, let's just get rid of it. What's this? Uh, are you kidding me? Do damage to all enemies? Um, well, let's crackle it. Ten three insects. We have one turn to escape. I wonder if that means we just win? Do we just win? Let's uh, get a totem out. Uh, okay, uh, let's take our chances with Lightning Storm. And it hits for two on both. That's really unfortunate. I think we're done. I don't... I don't know what else he can do that can deal 28 damage to me. Almost there. I can see the sun! <laughs> okay, that was it. I don't know. Oh, we made it! Oh, I never thought I'd be happy to see this desert. Desert. Oh, I think I need water. <laughs> I feel like he should have had, like, another big finale there, but he just, like, self-detonated. He being the, uh, temple, strange to say. Okay, what do we have here? Rumbling Elemental. After you play a battle cry minion, deal two damage to a random enemy. Uh, okay. Oh, here's a paladin secret. When your opponent has at least three minions and plays another, destroy it. <laughs> I can just imagine somebody doing everything in their power to trigger this secret, and they just don't know what it is. Because how often is somebody going to have three minions and play another one? Anyway, I do have a secret paladin deck. Maybe I can fit this in there somehow. Alright, we get the Reno Jackson. I mean, who is this guy? Is he like Harrison's brother or something? I feel like they both have the same kind of persona. 
Anyway, he's got a battle cry. If your deck contains no more than one of any card, fully heal your hero. No more than one of any card. Wow, that really makes you uh, count your cards. <laughs> I mean, if you have a duplicate of anything inside your deck that you haven't drawn yet, it uh, doesn't work. So this would be great for like, um, late, late game when you've almost drawn every card in your deck and you're sure you don't have duplicates. We also get Ancient Shade. Shuffle an Ancient Curse into your deck that deals 7 damage to you when you draw. 4 cost 7, 4. I mean, yeah, you get it cheap, but you're going to pay for it in the end. New class challenges. Oh, those will be fun. Oh, they're looking for the staff. <laughs> All right. Next time, we're going to be checking out the class challenges. But for now, that'll have to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed watching. And if you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll catch you all later in the next episode.